Hey there everyone, this is Ryan with Rocket Theme, and today we're taking a look at particle inheritance in Gantry 5.3 and beyond. Now in a previous video, we showed you how to set up section inheritance, and that is a very easy way to copy over an entire section's particles and settings from one outline to the next. And in this case, we're gonna do particles, specific individual particles from one outline to the next. So I'm gonna show you how to do that right now. Now what we're looking at right here is the homepage of Helium. It's a free theme, it's available for WordPress and Joomla presently, but Grav in the future, and it is absolutely free. So feel free to pick it up and try it for yourself. And what we're going to do is we're going to add some particles to the navigation section for the homepage. Now the homepage doesn't have anything currently assigned to the navigation section, whereas on other pages, you'll notice there is a logo, a menu, and social particles here. Now in the previous video, again, we did go over how to copy an entire section's particles and settings over from one outline to the next, but in this case we're going to look at specific particles. So if, for example, you have one particle that you absolutely love and you want to use it on multiple outlines, but you don't want to have the entire section copied over, this is how to do it. To start, we're going to go into the back end, and right now we are in the base outline within the layout manager, and we're looking at the navigation navigation section. As you can see, we have those three particles here, logo, menu, and social. And once we click on logo's cogwheel, which is its settings icon, we see the logo settings and as well as the block settings and everything is exactly as it should be. And we want to copy this particular particle over to the home page. And doing that is very easy. I'm going to go to home particles and you'll notice the navigation section is completely empty. Now all we have to do to do individual particle inheritance is create a new logo particle because that's what we're going to be inheriting to. The next thing we need to do is just access the settings for this particular particle and navigate over to the inheritance tab. And you do have two modes to choose from. Clone will outright make a copy of the particle as it exists in the layout manager of the other outline and it'll be a one-time copy. It won't sync anything. It's just a snapshot of whatever is there at the moment. Or inherit, and what inherit will do is it will actually create a sync between this outline and the one that you choose so that any changes you make to this particular instance of the particle in that outline will reflect on this one. And we're going to choose that for this example. And under outline, I'm gonna pick base outline. And using this little eye icon right here, this information icon, you can actually see the settings for each particle so that you know which one you're selecting. In this case, they're both set up very much the same, so it's really not a big deal which one we choose. However, I'm going to choose the top one just for simplicity's sake. And under the Replace section, you'll notice that we can copy over particle attributes and or block attributes. Particle attributes will be anything that is in the particle tab. So it'll be, for example, for this particular particle, the URL, image, SVG code, text, CSS class, etc. Under block settings, you have all the information that would normally apply to the block settings of the particle. Now you can choose just to have the particle attributes inherited, and then you can set your own block settings for this instance or you can choose both. And under particle, you'll notice that as soon as we selected that, there's a little lock icon closed, and we're now unable to make any changes at all because everything's being copied, or synced rather, with the other outline. Once I am happy with my settings, I click apply and save, and then I can go to the home page and refresh. And now I have a logo right here at the top. And I can do the same thing with the other particles, like for example, the menu particle, and I'll do that while I'm talking here. And I'll select that, I'll apply and save. And I will do the same with the social particle. Notice just how easy it is to click and drag particles over and set everything up. I'll inherit that from the base outline as well. There's only one instance, and I'll apply and save. And now that I've done that, I'll hit refresh, and there we have it. We basically have everything set up exactly 
as it needs to be. Everything looks very similar on both pages. And of course, we can go through, and even with the inheritance, I can modify this so that everything looks exactly as it should. So this has been Particle Inheritance. This is the basic guide just to get you started. If you have any questions about individual particle inheritance, please let me know in the comment section below, and we'll try to answer them as quickly as we can. For Rocket Theme, this is Ryan saying have a great day. We'll see you again soon.